and hello everybody and welcome back to Anno looking at for snowshoe um here last time we built the first gas mine that we have now fully up and functional looking good Ab absolutely beautiful view here that we have uh with those little santa clauses running around here with well blue hats and red hats and stuff like that and a beautiful view all the time over the arctic plateaus that we have here now while we have the first gas mine i definitely want to have a second one so let's get my airship over here there it is coming right now with lots of timber on board we do have a, a decent workforce there for the explorers so let's hit them there we have the timber and let's go with another gas mine this one here uh, oh we actually yeah, need technicians for that so we have um, one with three deposits one with three deposits uh nope i cannot combine them so i need to build uh, another gas mine for this then later so let's have the gas mine here mm, what the gas mine still needs though is a warehouse so in that case let's build a warehouse here too and then we do need the gas pumps three of them that is and it is up and running the heating is the only thing that is missing here now a bit so we do need to um, get the heating over here a bit so probably something like this should work yeah so we are going to move those buildings here and we're going to have the heater here right so it still hits everything over here except for those houses there oh that's a problem there we cannot quite get them there all within the, the radius there at least i can get rid of this one here and then have the the huts that are over here now so they are missing the heat there as far as i know but we do have schnapps they're not complaining so far no idea we still need to upgrade a few more of these guys here for the workforce. So let's do that with those guys here. As long as we have timber. The same goes with those guys here. And that's enough technicians now. And actually, we don't need those explorers here, you know. Because we have enough explorers. And we are not really using them for anything here. So the only thing that we might need are some technicians. And for that, we have enough buildings available at this point. This one here needs heating seems a bit strange but okay it's definitely close by but that's fine now everybody's got the heating again and those that don't need it well we're not providing any for them um, it's a bit strange here what what is going on this was just fine a second ago now it's not working anymore but it does have the coal so it should be fine now it's fine very good so that's that but what we still need let's have a look at our storage here in for snowshoe and what we still need here is now the gas so let's go with the gas there it is under construction material that we have gas and this one here we can now use well for two things first of all we can use it for building airships and second of all for oil or for gas powered um electrical plants and that is what we want so this one here ariadne 3 is our first airship now with the trade route from cape of from cape trelawney to fort snowshoe so let's build the route a trade route oh do we need a trade route i think we don't need a normal trade route yeah no oil route for this one fort snowshoe to cape trelawney the first trade route here and there we have the gas in fort snowshoe and we are going to load lots of that and the really cool thing is with the airships they're so fast so one will be enough all of that gas here and ariadne 3 the only airship that we have available there anyway is now taking the delivery so there are two ships now so we do have a bit of a traffic jam of airships up here in fort snowshoe but that's fine this one here is waiting for now and this one here is delivering well materials for our fort up here Another thing we still have to do is doing a few quests here for the Inuit. So Darkness 4, that is his ship. I don't know why he's calling his ship Darkness. I love those dogs, but the accident cost Ernok and Tortu their lives. My best sled is still broken. Delivery quest, I do need to deliver them 10 tons of huskies. That's that, and we would get a sled builder. Affects the sled frame factory and husky sled factory maintenance minus 30%. Oh, that's not really good workforce it would be nice and stuff like that but this and what i can see is that we only have yeah at the moment only a ship of the line here that is ready and we should be able to deliver nope we don't so let's go with our huskies there husky farm and we're going to build another husky farm we can afford that so we're going to have another husky farm here that's fine fitting in 
and this one is then providing us the huskies so 10 tons should easily be manageable and the huskies let factory here let's put Stop. it to sleep for now and then we can deliver that once it's available for this quest here Back in Cape Trelawney or in Crown Falls, we have another visitor. Let's have a look what awaits us this time. Hans Klein, old grandfather time. <laughs> yeah, it affects the clockmakers, productivity 50%. And instead of, well, I guess artisans, it now uses worker. That's actually a downside for us because we don't have that many workers. Extra good would be jewelry occasionally. We're still accepting him because of the expedition bonus, but he's not going to be very useful for our clockmakers. And it is also time to have a look a bit at Crown Falls itself. Now that we have gas here soon, what I can still do is, beside of course the usual beautification, what we still need to do is having a gas power plant. So let's get over here. There we have it, electricity, gas, fire, power plant. And for this one we need a decent spot and I think I found the one here. Because those guys here, well, they don't have any electricity so far. There's no nothing close by and I don't want to waste another oil for this. So in that case here, well, we might just build it here. What we can do is we can, well, relocate the pop. In that case here, we have lots of artisans and engineers here, so they won't be missing it. Let's get rid of that street here. Let's have the university here. And let's actually just get rid of the police station. Let's move it up here for now. And then we have a bit of space here, and this is just a perfect place for a gas fire power plant. They look a bit different, well they have a different roof that is, um, other than that, not that much different. But a nice one that we have here, as we can see, the lamps actually appear before we have any electricity here. And the only thing we need now is a connection. Oh wait a second, right! The gas fire power plant, they don't need a track, a railway connection, they need a, a warehouse. Now that's even better, so let's have it here. Let's squeeze it in actually here. And then we should be able to squeeze in a warehouse over here. And that's perfectly fine then. Very nice. The same thing... Yeah, only here. Because there I want to have, well, some trees or something like that. Right, so it only needs the gas, and the gas is being delivered now by airship, so we just need to wait a bit. Let's upgrade the warehouse here so it fits a bit more into the city there. And this is looking nice, especially when walking through that city. And a lot of you requested that I do that more often, walking around here. So let's just walk around here briefly. It is a beautiful town. It is beautiful landscape that we have around here. There we have now our power plant where people will then deliver the gas that we already have some gas tanks available our university for mathematics i especially love the lamp posts there with the mod we probably should turn the whole thing here to nighttime or something like that beautiful as we go more and more into the artisan district and here there's a butcher over here Amazing. Let's actually let's actually do it uh, to dusk. And as you can see now, the lamp posts are shining. This is even more beautiful than very romantic feeling that we're having here in Crown Falls, our mega city over there. We have the skyscrapers far away from everything. And in the new world, Sean has a quest for us. Of course, we're going to accept this one here. So a smuggling quest for this. And here in the new world, we also have a quest by the anarchist Mutual Admiration. Hugo Mercier finds a kindred soul in Sean Lafortune and has asked you to bring him one of his favorite essay collections as a gift. This would increase our reputation with both of them. And we do need to, well, get it from here, as far as I can see. Deliver to Sean Lafortune's lighthouse. Yep. So the only thing we need here is a quick boat. So we do have already our battle cruiser here with the journal on board. And let's just get to Sean there. Hopefully Sean will won't mind that we go over there with a battle cruiser. But it's just a quicker way to finish this quest here. And the other thing is retaliation. Now for this one, it's down here. And there's a smuggling quest. So we need to get there. And for that, I do have my monitor. There it is fast agile ships and let's get this one over here and then we just need to bypass that ship there somehow and hopefully no trade route here is intervening with that 
Right, there was a fire. We can rebuild the factory here. And one more thing in the Arctic. Our huskies should be ready now. Uh, up and ready for transportation. So let's get our ship Attention of the line. The Freedom, that is. There we have the husky sleds. It should actually be an agriculture. Oh, eight. Eight tons. We do need ten tons. But that's definitely manageable now. Over here, we just breed a lot of them. And after a bit of time, we do have ten huskies. Also, let's load them and let's get them over here to our Inuit friend. And we can now reactivate our husky sled factory once again. This is working. And back in the new world, let's have a look. Where's my monitor? Has it arrived the here? Celebrate monitor hasn't leadership. arrived yet. But my battle cruiser is arriving at Sean's place. Oh, no. How unspeakably. The epidemic left buildings abandoned. Okay. Have you acted now we can turn it in. And there we finished another quest for the anarchist. Still in the hope that at some point or You've some day well. he will actually give Go us another chance at the main quest that we still need to finish then we have a quest here in kingston that i should do i remember my mama cooking for the whole neighborhood spreading the joy with a homemade fried plantains i would like to honor her memory by doing the same if you can spare some plantains and oil what you want to cook with oil with the real oil all right and in the quest, we already have everything that he wanted out of this one. And do we get anything out of it? I'm feeling <laughs> 20 really cocoa. Oh, thank you. How generous. With the Admiral, we are... Okay, we are neutral. And Sean, a bit of money there, no problem. And an another gift for you. That's it. And there's our monitor that has arrived now, so we can do the Game smuggling quest retaliation. We just need to watch out now, but our monitor, as you can see, is really quick, as opposed to the schooners there. So it should be easy to get to this ship here and back home again. Just need to hope that there is no message on this side here now. You might be Thank you. Let's take this one, slave trader, and let's get back to the clipper of Sean, to Sean's clipper over here. For that quest. A of this Gratitude is so time. often taken for granted. We have decided to give good where good is due. I know it's a small thing, but we wanted to celebrate everything you've done for us with a present. How very I generous of you. And where is that present? Course. There it is. You are too kind. You guide us towards something Oh, ship's bright. chaplain. A rare item for ships sailing and some good expedition bony uh, bonuses that we have there. Now, here in Port Royal, we also have still work to do, especially paving the roads, making this town here more beautiful. It's a beautiful town, no doubt. And yeah, I promised some parks here as well, so let's just squeeze in one or two parks here in Port Royal. Something my citizens will be very happy about. There's the main road. Actually, you know, with the main road, since we're not going to have a train here in Port Royal anyway, let's just have paved road here. A whole bunch of it. Or we could also do it the same with here. Let's see. We could have palm trees here in between. Right, so of course we do need to have lots of holes in between. But just like that. And then we could have, let's see what else we got here. Some beautiful things. Flowering scrub, tropical forest, but nope, the scrub, uh, the tropical forest does have some destroyed forest in there as well. So of course, it should look more beautiful, and some palm trees are totally fine here in the middle. And of course, this whole thing needs to be accomplished, uh, accompanied then with paved roads. Only that looks good. I, th I don't think it looks good with the the, the dirt Does fields, dirt in? roads that we have there. And yes, Sean. You surprise me. Carpenter's tool, nothing of worth out of this one. And this beautiful chapel here still needs some ornaments in front of it. Well, let's have a look what we can do here for you. A bronze lion. No, that doesn't fit. Stone flower pot. That's nice. With probably some bushes in front of it. 
So there at least is a, it's a bit of green there surrounding it. Another paved road here. And I think Bent had a quest for us. So we should also have a look at Bent there. So it's a bit of beautification here, a bit of story, uh, looking at some of those quests there. Especially with Banta, I really haven't done many quests with her in this game at all, because I usually just ignore our two-star or one-star opponents. So she's in the old world, let's get there. And there are hibernation. Banta wants your help in bringing some wild animals on her island into the safety of her zoo for the winter. And here are the animals of question. So those two wolves I think we found now. And then we do need the bears. They should be in the forest or something like that. And there are the bears. No one knows how they got on this island here. But let's turn it in and there we get a bit of money and reputation with Banter. She's got a nice little town here. And yeah, Banter uh, often just gives us collection quests, a photography quest. While, for example, the Admiral gives us destruction quests and stuff like that. So he's, of course, the more dangerous opponent. And thus he gives us the more dangerous, well, quests, that is. And our huskies are here. Let's turn that quest here in as well. The dog sled accident. And he thanks us for it with the sled builder. While we're here, though, with the ship of the line, let's have a look what the Inuit still offers us, um, especially for items for trading. Oh, the, look at that. Hugo is here as well. There is his clipper competing with us, probably with the seal skins that we need so desperately. And perhaps he's got some good items there in the Arctic Lodge. Actually, that's a pretty good one. Lumberjack hut, sawmill, sled frame factory, and husky sled factory. Minus 50% workforce needed. Let's purchase this one. Let's sell this one here, the sled builder. C reduces the needs for some certain goods. That would be nice. But other than that, I really just want to have something for my museum and Skins my zoo. Can be sold. Alright, there we got a few good ones here for the explorer and the technician, so it reduces the chance for arctic flu and the need for sleeping bags. This one here is very good for the sled factory, and this one here is very good for the seal hunting dogs, because we never, or we don't have enough seals there anyway, with only the three there. So we can use this one here as an arctic lodge that we can build just on here on Sami Inlet. Now that we have the item over here, let's just move the canteen over here it still takes all the buildings here into account and then we have the arctic lodge or something over here that is just affecting now all the three uh, seal skin hunters here that we have arctic lodge a nice building there by the way like this one and then we can have them here so the toklo the trapper affecting now the seal skin farmers and increasing productivity 40 percent and occasionally produces goose feathers so that is something the same thing we can do over here now in ryland where we do have those two so we do need an arctic lodge here in the center of our little town and well we do need one here for the husky sled and the husky uh, sled frame factory so that we have the arctic lodge for this one Right, so, and here we can now use, let's see where she is, or where it is, the bone adds, and this one here is affecting then those. So that's a bit more um, workforce that we get back out of it. And the other item now is uh, um, affecting the explorers, technicians. So in that case here, we should look for a good central position like this one here. Let's get rid of the streets there, it should be able to squeeze in. Yeah, and there we can squeeze in a lot of those buildings. That's fine. And here we can now use are now run the seamless for that and this one reduces the arctic flu chance and also the reduced need for the sleeping bags for all of these buildings here in the circle very nice and we also have a quest up here on the arctic plateau now so i did not expect that let's have a look at him i'm on the trail of the woolly mammoth i have a hunch some may still be trapped in the ice to the northwest exploration quest far away in here somewhere. Oh, there are some remains. Fly to the first position indicated by the resident. Oh, that's an interesting question. Wait a second. Do we have an airship here? Oh, yeah, only our transporter. So, wait a second. In Cape Trelawney, we do have an airship here that we can now purchase for only 5 million. Let's do that. And let's send the airship over there. And with that, we do also get the influence elite magnate. 
probably because we have increased our fleet there or well yeah movement speed plus 25 percent for all ships and hopefully that counts for the airships there as well and this one here neptune's gift is now on its way to the arctic region exactly where we want it we also have independence here just in the harbor of old nate so we can well go for some treasure hunt machines we haven't gotten yet enough here so oh for the arctic machine i could do that so there are treasure hunts for the arctic as well but let's just do that that's cape trelawney then let's stick to this area here there's the arctic again old world new world treasure hunts that we don't really want and having accepted the treasure hunts independence is now on its way already has a lead of something so let's get over here somewhere there should be then the spot for our next treasure hunt i think oh this looks promising but let's just get over here and then we'll see where it leads us and while my airship is on its way my salvage is on its way we still have our task here for port royale to make this a bit more beautiful that we already have some streets predefined so we only need to get rid of those the streets here left ruins behind and then we can have some palm trees in between here let's do that as well the people celebrate your and then we can walk beside those palm trees there i think this is looking pretty good all the way over there increasing the attractiveness of port royale there a bit too and when we look down here Ah, uh, that's just perfect, having the palm tree strand. I really love in that aspect, aspect, I really love that we can switch between the Arctic, the New World, the Old World, Cape Trelawney so quickly all the time. Between the time zones or whatever it is to our taste, we can just continue building here, watching some palm trees or watching the Arctic plateaus, whatever we want. Now, here in Port Royal, what I can see is, well, we still need more streets. We do have enough parks and yeah, I want you to get a park here. So there we have it. Over here, we can build one. Effort is everything. And we can use some fences here. As you know, I'm a huge fan of those fences. We do have the entrance here. So let's have an entrance, let's say here and here for the people. And perhaps, no, that's actually fine. And beside them, we do have then those fences here. And the cool thing about those fences is, well, they do have the appearance here of the new world. So they do have palm trees around them sometimes, like those those fences over there. That's a pretty cool detail. Let's have another corner here and here. Very nice. And then we just need something in between. So as we can see, a fountain Your ship has might look nice. Um, I don't want to get rid of all the trees here, though, all the time. So let's have the fountain here at the end of it. That we can have that there we have a beautiful some beautiful trees in there so i actually want to keep them because you know you cannot build them again if you get rid of them that's pretty cool there and here we can just have something else then for example we can have a, a que an equestrian statue here just behind that we where we have then the or like this no this is not looking cool right or actually it's looking pretty cool because it looks like it's an old statue here already pretty long and is growing with the nature we do have another ornament here though that is the gazebo park and that's just even cooler so actually let's take the gazebo park because look at that people then kind of like sit in there in the in the shade of this huge tropical tree there and this is just i think bachelor at least in my opinion anyway so let's have that and what we still need for this one here is a little well path going then from the gazebo to the or wait a second let's have some since we have the entrances here we might actually just have some grass here i think grass here is fine it's perfectly fine right because people go on the grass anyway and they have the path here so in that case here our little park that we have there in the new world just like that now let's get back um the airship i think has arrived there it is neptune's gift and with that we can go over here now and follow the lead of the mammoth that's one thing and the other thing is the salvager that we have now over here and there should be the lead somewhere i couldn't can't be that far away it looks pretty close according to the echo All right, I'm a bit confused there now, so let's see where it goes. Ah, there it is. So it, this time it didn't appear before we went uh, very close to it. So in that case here, 
We weren't able to see it. And what we get out of it? Oh, Olympian Temple remains for the Aegean culture set. Pretty cool. I don't think that I have found this one yet. And just when we arrived at this treasure location here, we do find the next Aku for the next treasure hunt. So onwards we go with our little salvager. And we're doing that in the next episode. Stay tuned.